Bonjour! Aujourd'hui, nous parlons de la famille. Today, we're going to be talking about family. So, um, the word in French for family, la famille. Remember that all of our nouns in French are either masculine or feminine. We learn articles with them, um, such as le and la, to help us know if the word is masculine or feminine. So, to talk a little bit more about this, when we talk about family, um, it's really easy because we're going to use le, um, the masculine word for the whenever we have um, a male, and we're going to use la whenever we have a female. So we'll um, do some practice with articles in addition to our work with the family vocabulary. So, um, la famille. Uh, vous avez la mère, la mère, le père, le père, la sœur, la sœur, le frère. Le frère, le bébé, le bébé et le chien, le chien. Aussi, nous avons la grand-mère, la grand-mère et le grand-père, le grand-père et le chat. I had to add some pets as well. Um, le chat. Et ici, nous avons uh, l'oncle, la tante. So those are um, pretty easy for English speakers. They look pretty similar to uncle and aunt. L'oncle et la tante. So um, a reminder that we use, we're using le and la, but when you have a um, noun that starts with a vowel, um, we don't like to have two vowels in a row like this in French. So we, um, instead of saying le, oncle, we say l'oncle and we use an L apostrophe. Le majordome, I don't know if any of you happen to have a butler, um, maybe not, but he is a part of the French Fresh Prince family on that TV show. Les cousines, les cousines, et le cousin. So notice here, um, we have cousin, cousine, um, a slightly different pronunciation. We add an E onto the end when we're describing a female cousin, and um, that's how we can tell if we're talking about a male or female cousin. Okay, comment s'appelle? Comment s'appelle? If you remember um, back uh, to the beginning of our study of French, I asked you the question, comment t'appelles-tu? Comment t'appelles-tu? And you told me, je m'appelle. And you remember that phrase, je m'appelle, you were telling me what your name is. So here, comment s'appelle? I'm asking, for example, comment s'appelle la tante de Cindy? Here, ici, c'est Cindy. Comment s'appelle la tante de Cindy? Ici, C'est la tante de Cindy. Elle s'appelle Susan. Elle s'appelle Susan. So we're going to practice giving names of different people. Comment s'appelle la mère de Cindy? Comment s'appelle la mère de Cindy? Ici, c'est la mère de Cindy. Elle s'appelle Kate. Elle s'appelle Kate. So here, um, we're, our sentence is just the same here. We just happen to change um, the name, since now we're talking about her mom, um, we inserted Kate there where Susan was in our original sentence. Comment s'appelle la cousine de Cindy? Comment s'appelle la cousine de Cindy? Okay, la cousine, ça c'est Lynn. Elle s'appelle Lynn. Elle s'appelle Lynn. Comment s'appelle la grand-mère de Cindy? Comment s'appelle la grand-mère de Cindy? Ici, c'est la grand-mère. Elle s'appelle Anne. Elle s'appelle Anne. Okay, so we've talked about all of the females in this picture, Lynn and Susan and Kate and Anne. So um, think about how I might ask, answer the question if I were to ask about um, some of the males. So, comment s'appelle le cousin de Cindy? Comment s'appelle le cousin de Cindy? Le cousin, ça c'est Billy. So instead of saying elle s'appelle, remember we use il for he, so we're going to say il s'appelle Billy. Il s'appelle Billy. Um, comment s'appelle l'oncle de Cindy? L'oncle de Cindy. Il s'appelle Bob. Il s'appelle Bob. Comment s'appelle le père de Cindy? Comment s'appelle le père de Cindy? Il s'appelle Phil. Il s'appelle Phil. Comment s'appelle 
le grand-père de Cindy. Comment s'appelle le grand-père de Cindy? Il s'appelle George. Il s'appelle George. So, um, now might be a good time for you maybe to pause the video, maybe take it back a little bit and practice um, saying those. Il s'appelle, for his name is, elle s'appelle, for her name is. Okay, we're going to talk about a few more um, vocabulary words now. Um, we already learned le père, la mère, et le bébé. Um, but so there's some other ways that we can describe the family relationships going on here. So we have le mari, la femme, et la fille. So for le mari, think of the word married. Le mari is going to be husband. Le mari, husband. La femme here is going to be wife. La femme. And here, la fille, la fille is your word for daughter. So, um, I use the nanny a lot um, as a reference point in French. If you've ever seen her on Nick at Night, um, she kind of has this nasally kind of voice, and we get some nasal sounds going on in French, so I always refer to her at some point um, in our class. So, um, if you've ever watched the show, um, it, at the beginning of the, of the show, um, we have le père, we have the dad, le fils, the son, les filles, the daughters. So, um, in the previous slide, you saw la fille for one. So, now we've changed it to les filles because I have more than one. And this word fils is really um, a little bit unusual because it is a singular word. You can tell that from the fact that our article here is le and not les, but it always ends in S, whether it is singular or plural. So um, you would just know from the context if somebody was talking to you about their sons or or just their son, one. So um, so in the this, in this show, we have the, the dad, the son, the daughters, and she starts out as la nourrice, the nanny. And then, um, I honestly haven't watched it, enough to, to know the whole story, but I do know that they get married eventually. So she then becomes la belle-mère, la belle-mère to these children. So here, belle-mère is stepmother. So then these these girls become her belle-fille, her stepdaughters. And this boy becomes her beau-fils, her stepson. Um, interestingly, um, these prefixes belle and beau um, can also be added to the family relationships when talking about in-laws. So, for example, um, for me, um, I um, don't have a stepmom, but I do have a belle-mère because my husband's mom is my belle-mère. She's my mother-in-law. So, usually you can tell from the context. Um, someone might give you additional information. For example, if I talk to you about Ma belle-mère, I might also refer to her as la mère de mon mari, and then that would tell you, okay, that she's talking about her husband's mom. And a couple more um, family relationships, or um, these might not necessarily be blood related to you, but you might have un parent, un parent, le parent is a godfather, la marraine, la marraine is a godmother, so... Don't we all wish we could have a fairy godmother? Um, if you ever need to know how to say that in French, now you do. Le, ma, le parent et la marraine. So, thanks for paying attention and learning some family vocabulary with me. Um, don't forget to let me know if you have any questions.